Hello, my name is Yin Ting Zhan. This session is about alternative metrics, also known as odd metrics. This video tutorial is based on part of the Understanding Research Metrics Brown Bag held on February 9, 2018 by the Rutgers University Library's Research and Scholarly Environment Working Group. This tutorial will cover these aspects, an overview of metrics in journals and publishers, in databases, in institutional repositories, in scholarly networking tools, and odd metrics tracking tools. Odd metrics are a group of non-traditional metrics and have been around for a decade. In 2008, the Journal of Medical Internet Research started collecting views and tweets. In 2009, PLOS launched the Article Level Metrics Project. However, at that time, they were not called odd metrics. It was not until in September 2010 when Jason Prem coined the term odd metrics that people started to refer them as odd metrics. Since then, there have been annual odd metrics conferences and other endeavors to advocate for odd metrics. Coupled with these developments are the emergence of several odd metrics tracking tools. As mentioned earlier, odd metrics are alternative. They are not replacing the traditional metrics. Together with traditional bibliometrics, art metrics help to provide a richer picture of an article or other research output's impact. Compared to traditional metrics, art metrics capture immediate attention to an article or other research output when available and accessible. Art metrics can be used as early indicators of an article's impact. They can track how publications perform after publishing monitor research influence for funding purposes, can be used in promotion or tenure evaluation. In the next few slides, I will show some examples view screen captures to show odd metrics in different platforms. In this slide, I captured the upper part of the screen of an article from PLOS One. I'm under the tabs, I clicked the metrics tab it shows the number of total article views, number of times being saved, cited, and shared. This slide is the lower part of the screen. It reviews the number of citations in different databases, such as Scopus, and repositories like a PMC, PubMed Central, and other sources. It also tracks the attention in social media, like Twitter, Mendeley, site you like, Figshare. When clicking Google search, it shows the number of citations captured by Google. This slide shows how art metrics work in Scopus. PlumX metrics, an art metrics tracking tool from Plum Analytics, were displayed including usage, captures, mentions, social media, and citations beyond Scopus. Here in this slide shows how odd metrics are used in SOAR, scholarly open access at Rutgers, a depositing service for Rutgers Institutional Repository. The available metrics are number of downloads, timeline, and top countries that gave attention to the article. Odd metrics are also tracked in some research networking tools like ResearchGate, for example, the number of reads and number of citations are captured. In the next three slides, I will introduce three major odd metrics tracking tools. In this slide, it features PlumX, a tool from Plum Analytics, which was funded by Andrea Michlek and Mike Bushman in early 2012. PlumX is a tool to harvest the metrics from various online sources for measuring research output. It assesses research by analyzing the five categories of metrics, usage, captures, mentions, social media, and citations. The tool tracks more than 20 different types of artifacts, which include journal articles, books, 
videos, presentations, conference proceedings, data sets, source code, cases, and more. Plum Analytics was acquired by EBSCO in January 2014. Later in the year, it announced collaboration with Orchid. In February 2017, Elsevier acquired Plum Analytics. Its metrics are now embedded in Elsevier's research products, Scopus, Mendeley, ScienceDirect, Sciable, and Pure. The service is available via subscription. This slide features opmetric.com, known as opmetric. Please be aware that opmetric is not the same as opmetrics. The former is a company that produces a tool to track opmetrics, while the latter is a set of non-traditional metrics. Opmetric.com was founded by Yuan 80 in 2011, based in London. Opmetric tracks and analyzes the online activities around the scholarly literature. The captured metrics were displayed in an Opmetric donut, reflected in different colors. The number in the center of the donut is the Opmetric score. The colors surrounding the donut reflect the mix of sources that mentioned that score. For example, blue is for Twitter, yellow for blogs, red for mainstream media sources, and etc. The Outmetric bookmarklet gets article-level metrics for recent papers for free. The Outmetric Explorer captures tweets, blog posts, news stories, and other content that mention scholarly articles weekly. The tool allows researchers monitor, search, and measure conversations about their publications and those of their peers. Impact Story was a pioneer in the Opmetrics tracking field. It was studied as Total Impact in 2011, later in 2012, was co-founded by Heather Pawawa and Jason Preem with funding support from Open Society Foundation, Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, and NSF. Originally, it was free, but it started to charge $60 a year in September 2014. Two years later, it became free again. The tool is used to aggregate metrics from a variety of sources, but currently it seems not to be as powerful as the other two tools. It seems to collect data from very limited sources now. Impact Story can be accessed via Orchid login and Twitter login. This slide concludes this short tutorial. For further information or help, please contact scholarlyimpact at libraries.rutgers.edu. Thank you.